Several TikTok users asked me how they could find the black police bike legitimately in GTA Online. Short answer, call Imani from this area in free mode at any time, select source motorcycle, and you'll have the best chance of receiving it. For further information, keep watching and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Spoiler alert, you cannot keep it. First of all, if you do not already have Imani in your contact list and cannot find her checkbox in the interaction menu under inventory, phone contact favorites, make sure that you purchased an agency from the Dynasty 8 executive website, completed a security contract launched from your agency office computer, met Franklin at the golf club, and completed the on-course mission. If you then come back to the agency after Franklin's call, you will trigger a cutscene about using the FIB's mass surveillance servers to track down Dr. Dre's phone. Once you exit the agency, you will be able to call Imani on the phone and ask her to source a nearby motorcycle. There are four locations where the black police bike can spawn with this option. For each of them, I will highlight in orange the area from which you need to use the source motorcycle service in order to have a 25% chance of obtaining it. As explained in the previous video, you must never get closer than 50 units to the expected bike location when requesting it, otherwise another bike will be chosen instead. I will represent this keepout sphere in red. So let's start. The first police bike can be found in the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office parking lot. The second one can be found in the Sandy Shores Sheriff Station parking lot. The third one can be found in the La Mesa Police Station parking lot. The fourth one can be found in the Mission Row Police Station South parking lot. Imani is also able to locate a Black Sovereign, the civilian version of the police bike, otherwise found only with a US flag livery. The Sovereign can be found in a gazebo near the Amination in Polito Bay. As I said before, every time you call the source motorcycle service from the indicated zone of one of these bikes, the probability for that bike to be picked is just 1 over 4. Nevertheless, two of the police bikes have adjacent regions, which gives rise to a smaller area with the following property, if the closer police bike is not selected, you still have a chance for the other one. This is therefore the best place from which to call Imani if you want to acquire the black police motorbike, yet it does not guarantee that you will succeed. In fact, you will most likely still receive one of the regular bikes. In this case, if you want to give it another shot, there are several ways to do so. Next, I will discuss four such methods. The straightforward method is to keep your current session. To be able to request a new bike, you have to destroy the current one and wait for a 5 minute cooldown to expire. An inconvenience of how this was implemented is that once you get on the sourced motorbike, its blip disappears indefinitely from the map. Therefore, if you get off and leave it behind, you'll have to recall where you left it and destroy it if you want to source a new one. The second method is to get rid of your active motorcycle by leaving the current lobby. You can set your spawn location to last location beforehand, to avoid traveling to the neighborhood of the police station again, but I am not liable for any injuries you may incur. If you are not alone in the initial session, you can even go back to the same one afterwards if you wish, by accepting a friend's invite for example. Once you leave, your bike is set to despawn, which may happen either instantly or as soon as all players get far enough away from it. But even if another player prevents it from despawning, it will no longer be recognized as your active sourced motorcycle when you return. However, if you didn't get on it before leaving, it will remain locked for lifetime for all players except the one with your initial session-wide player ID. 
so if you get the same ID when you return, you will be able to use it with exclusive access, like a personal vehicle. Even so, you won't have to destroy it in order to request a new one. Deactivating your motorcycle by leaving the lobby, regardless of whether you return to the same lobby or not, might be more convenient, because you no longer risk an annoying wanted level or NPC attack after destroying the bike. On the other hand, you have to go through a loading screen with clouds, which is boring and does not bypass the 5 minute cooldown. The cooldown can be bypassed though, without hacking, by using any of the following two methods, which I validated on PC with the LS Drug Wars update. For both of them, I will show you how long it took between two successive motorcycle requests, playing in both invite-only and public sessions. Each of these times will be the average of five tests performed on my remote shadow PC. The third method involves going through an artwork loading screen into story mode or online. There are multiple ways to trigger an artwork loading screen, for example by going to story mode from a creator test or from the Rockstar editor after loading a clip. But probably the fastest way is to enter story mode with the leave GTA online option, and then either load a save game or start a new game, and then go back to GTA online. Remember that a loading screen with clouds is not enough to reset the cooldown. You need to see the artwork screen. The average time between service requests is thus reduced by more than half in private lobbies and to less than 3 minutes in public ones. Quitting the game completely and restarting it also works, but generally takes slightly longer. The last method is even faster, often taking less than 2 minutes, but it assumes that you have two characters on your account, both of them having Imani unlocked, and that you want only to obtain the black police bike, without caring which character you play with. In this case, you can simply swap your character and you will be able to source a new bike right away. If you want to play in invite-only sessions, note that the swap character option normally takes you to a public lobby, irrespective of the initial one. However, you can avoid public lobbies by using a trick which was posted on GTA forums by user Rex, just start any job, such as a race or a mission, and then quit it. That is, pull out your phone, select the central icon which opens the job list app, and press the trash button, using the space bar on PC. This will place you in a new invite-only session. Swapping your character from here will take you to another invite-only session instead of a public one. Unfortunately, this affects only one character swap, so if you still do not get the police bike and want to switch back to your initial character directly in an invite-only lobby, you have to start and quit a job again. Note that, if you have an additional character, no matter if they have Imani unlocked or not, you can also avoid the cooldown by switching to your other character and then going back to the initial one, but I do not recommend this, because it takes quite long, and if you do it in public sessions, errors are likely to happen, in which case it puts you into story mode and the time between requests can get even longer than 5 minutes. Although the last two methods are by far quicker, they are also the most boring or restrictive. Now, you just have to pick your favorite method and try over and over again. Having a probability of almost 50% of obtaining the police bike in each trial, means that, out of a huge number of players who request motorcycles from the optimal region shown earlier, one can expect that almost a half will get police bikes on their first attempt, almost a half of the rest, on their second attempt, almost a half of the rest, on their third attempt and so on, leading to an average of about two necessary attempts per player. However, the number of necessary attempts can get arbitrarily large depending on how lucky you are. If you happen to be one of the unlucky ones on the right side of this chart, keep in mind that leaving hate comments and blaming me for it may not be the most professional approach. I mean, look how quiet these guys on the left are. Note that once you receive the police bike and get on it, you are going to get a 2-star wanted level after some seconds, regardless of how stealthy you were and whether you are still on the bike or not, so consider getting away from the police station ASAP. Unfortunately, the game does not allow you to customize the source police bike or store it in your garage, not only because it is an emergency vehicle, but this applies to all motorcycles from Imani, therefore including the Sovereign as well. That's all for this tutorial guys. I wish all of you the best of luck in receiving the black police bike, but please be responsible and keep the city clean, because if all your goth hacker girls are too successful in finding you police bikes, it won't be nice to find something like this next time I pass by the police station.